Henlo and Ooga Booga Cubs. This is F Dub here with the Honey Jar. So today we have got another quick tutorial for you all. This is for a new quest that is live for all of you. So first of all, head over to our website over at 0xhoneyjar.xyz and from here we're going to go over to the Cub Quest page. Simply go to the Explore tab and choose Cub Quests and this will bring you back to the website. At this point, unlock your MetaMask if you haven't done so and connect your wallet with the button on the screen. As you can see here, there might be some tea bear to claim from the faucet, and if you haven't done so already, what are you doing? You might as well. More bear the better. And while you're also here, double check on the raffles tab just to make sure that there are no raffles you need to enter before they go live. This is because you could win something pretty big. That being said, when you're ready, let's head over back to the quest tab. So first of all, make sure that you're on the bear chain testnet. You might need to approve a prompt to switch networks, and if you have to, go ahead and do that. Next. Hit OK. Now, when you hit View Quests, you'll notice the Stake Ores Cub Quest. This is the one we're doing today. Simply select the Stake Ores Quest when it's live, and once you're on the Quest tab, simply hit the Visit button. We're going to get some honey and some wrapped bear ready to provide liquidity. So this will take you over to bardio.bex.bearchain.com. All you need to do over here is go over to the Swap Tokens tab. If you haven't got enough Barra, do use one of the faucets that are available. First of all, if you don't have any honey, you're going to need to swap some Barra into it. This is a pool we're going to be providing liquidity for. Once you're happy with swapping half or so Barra into honey, hit the swap button on the screen and then approve the prompt in your MetaMask wallet. So we've got that transaction to go through and now we're headed back to the Cub Quest page. And as we can see, we've done the first step. Now the next step is to add liquidity for Honey and Wrapped Barra on Bex. You can simply click the Add Liquidity button right here and this will take you over to the Bex interface or you can simply hit the Pools tab if you're on Bex. If you're already on the Bex website, what you'll need to be looking for is the Honey and Wrapped Barra pool. And as you can see, we are now on the same page, whichever route you took to get there. And the next thing we're going to do is provide liquidity. So select how much honey you want and how much barra you'd like to provide. Selecting one will automatically fill the other. Once you've done this, hit the preview button. Now we just need to approve spending honey in our MetaMask wallet. So simply click the button and now click next and then approve on the pop up on your MetaMask wallet. Once this is done, simply hit add liquidity. We're now going to add that liquidity to the pool again, just confirming the transaction that appears in your MetaMask. And the last thing you need to do is deposit your tokens into a vault. So you can hit the deposit button that pops up on your screen. But before we do this, if we head back to CupQuest, what we can see is that we have successfully added liquidity in our second step. And now we're about to deposit our LP tokens. So for whatever reason, if you don't find yourself on the right page already for depositing your tokens, head back to CupQuest's website and then just hit the deposit button on step three. And this will take you to the exact same place. From here, we should have some LP tokens to deposit because we just provided liquidity. So simply select the max option or how many you would like to deposit approve honey and the wrapped Barra LP in your wallet. This will bring up a confirmation transaction you need to approve on MetaMask. Hit next and then approve and then just wait for that one to go through. And the last thing you need to do is hit the deposit button to deposit those LP tokens. Once you've done this, you will now be securing Barra Chain with your liquidity at least on testnet. Not to mention, you can also start earning some BGT rewards. Now you might want to keep a hold of these as we have a feeling this may be something you need to do in a future quest. That being said, if you head back over to the Cub Quests interface, what you should notice is a green check mark next to the third step of the quest, confirming you've deposited your LP tokens and this should mark the completion of your quest. So this is a testnet deployment for the tutorial. We haven't gotten the final check mark despite depositing our LP tokens, but rest assured when you do this yourselves, you'll get a little tick here to confirm you've completed the third step. You'll see on your quest progress that it is now complete and you will be earning the honey steak badge reward. So do pay attention cubs once this becomes claimable over on the quest tab section. All you need to do is just hit claim once it's ready and you can claim your badge. All right, Cubs, that's going to wrap up today's tutorial for the Stake Ores. We hope you enjoyed it and helped you along the way. 
definitely keep an eye out for future quests that are coming in the near future. So Ooga Booga, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.